Hello. You may be wondering, Ashley, why are you wearing a zip-up fleece in September? Because it's 40 degrees outside! <laughs> Today, <laughs> we have something really exciting. My dad is driving out my plants from Oregon. How cool is that? Well, I mean, it just so happens that he's going on like a motorcycle trip or whatever, and so he's bringing the plants out and then I get to have them. But the plants he's bringing out are, there's like 50 plants and lots of them are my really, really, really rare ones, including some special names like Raven ZZ and Monstera Albo and you know, other fun things like that. I also have a box coming with him that Reclamation PDX was going to ship to me because we did a trade, but since my dad's driving out, she just sent them with my dad. So I have like a hundred plants I'm gonna show you. This is gonna be the biggest YouTube plant haul in history. They're all rare plants and almost every single thing in that box is a Hoya. <laughs> so I'm so excited to show you uh, before this video keeps going because it's such a festive day and I'm getting all my plants from Oregon. I couldn't fit in my dorm before. <laughs> Please hit a like for my dad for bringing them out in the middle of his motorcycle trip. Also, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I put out new videos every single day. Somehow, while doing 24 credits of school at the same time. It's okay. I'm okay. Let the plant haul begin. Oh my gosh, hello. How are you? I am so excited. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Oh boy, look at that. There's one box. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? There's two boxes. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? There's another box. So I say, how about we just jump right into it, all right? <laughs> we are going to do the big box first. Let's do... Okay, so this one is easy. He's already on top. This is Monstera Lechleriana. Beautiful. What a guy. Philodendron Ring of Fire. All right. I feel like I work at REM right now. Or pistols. Just peeling the plastic off. Ooh, the new leaf looks so good. I didn't get to see it open up. Okay. <gasps> Wow, look at her, what a beast. Oh, that one's a little sad, but oh my gosh, what a treat since my ring of fire over here just died. This is the new leaf, he's very variegated, <laughs> amazing. So you're gonna bust through these because it takes a long time to get through 50 plants. Well, there might not be exactly 50, but. Okay, here is the Peperomia you saw in my Pistols Arium Solaby video. This is the Peperomia Spa. This is the one that Nick Pelegi loves and just is to die for, I guess. I found it at Pistols. I bought it. Next we have the infamous tissue culture mon uh, Rifidophora tetrasperma. We found this at Fred Meyer over FaceTime, for me over FaceTime for ten dollars <laughs> oh my god now i have four oh, stuck on my engagement ring now we have four of them here and two of them are in good condition the other two are sticks but that's okay next <laughs> we have the raven easy so it doesn't look super raven i cut it up for you it's gonna be on the etsy for you to buy for cheap but okay here we have two of the black leaves, and then these ones you can see are just starting to turn black. Are you so excited or what? I am so excited. This is the queen herself, the Alocasia odora albo variegata. We got this at Dennis 7Ds in Oregon. It looks like it survived shipping pretty all right. Well, I'm so excited. Oh, there's a new leaf. <laughs> I haven't seen these plants in two months. 
So it's so good to see them, especially because they're my plants and they've been living in Oregon forever because I didn't have enough place in my dorm for these plants. <sighs> okay, the small leaves are struggling, but it looks like everyone came out okay. Ooh, ooh, look at this leaf. Look at that leaf. Look at, look at this leaf. Can you see that? That's a half moon. <sighs> that I miss the most while I was here, except for my Adaba Poency. I'm glad that you can't see it yet. It's a surprise. This is the Monstera Deliciosa Alba Variegata that we got from the Potted Elephant. He really went through a lot of uh, trauma, but his new leaf that he's putting out is like perfect. It's got white and then green, so. Ugh. Your girl has three elbow plants in her house right now and they're all mine. I don't have to sell them to make money to pay off loans. Just get to keep them. Is this a fun video or what? We are just rapid fire, rapid fire opening rare plants. All of these plants so far are extremely rare. So I'm hoping you guys like this video even though it's not a plant tour. It's still a, oh my gosh, look at all her freaking plants. This woman's crazy. This one's done. Now we have this box, which kind of just looks like a lot of cuttings. Here are the Philodendron Atiba Poensi from my Etsy. I've been rooting these to give to you. You get to keep them. I'm posting some of them tonight, so. Oh my gosh. Can I just keep them? Can I keep them all? I don't have enough Atiba Poensis. I only have three. I don't want them all. This is my favorite plant of all time, man. Atiba Poensi. Not Spiritus Sancti, out of a poency. Philodendron Horsehead or Bipenifolium? Is that the name? Here we have a string of pearls that I got for $2 from Solaby Botanicals in Oregon. Philodendron Brantiatum I got from Daddy Earth or Jacqueline. Next we have the Philodendron Emerald Ripple. Whoops. <laughs> and then we have the philodendron micans. Honestly, you can never have a too many micans. Cool. Next we have, ooh, we have philodendron. If I can get it out. Philodendron mexicanum. And... This actually looks like it might be a Mexicanum out of a Poency cross. So the back of these leaves are red and you can correct, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the back of the leaves are not supposed to be red. Here we go. And then here's how red the back of the leaf is. If you can see, it's pretty red. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful. All of these cuttings that you're about to see right now will all be on my Etsy, so. We have my one of my favorite plants of all time. All of our Monstera Standaliana Albo Variegata cuttings. We've got about 20 cuttings in here and they will all be on my Etsy for you. Maybe I'll keep an extra one for myself because I mean, you can never have too many cuttings of a rare plant growing, but yeah. And they'll be pretty cheap since they're not super variegated. So get your plants. I did all of this for you, all of it. Here are massive Monstera Siltabacana cuttings that I got from Jungle Portland Northwest. I've been rooting them, here's my hand for reference. They're really, really, really big. I've been rooting them for thousands of years. Here we have the first plant my mom ever bought in Oregon. The Monstera Adansoniae round form. Completely, like these cuttings are so rooted, you can put them into soil right away. All right. Ooh, this is what I like to see. I like to see this. Jewel orchid cuttings. And the best part is, I just ripped these out of the soil and they're ready to go. These guys are ready to be potted. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting to have one of these. I brought one back for Christine, Christopher's mom. And uh, I'm so excited to have so then, ooh, 
this is what I like to see. This is probably my favorite plant next to the Adam of Hornsey. This is Scindapsis pictus trubii, dark form, the coveted, the illustrious, and you know what? They're rooted, but there will only be three on my Etsy. These are as dark as the Raven's Easy. They're beautiful, so get them. There's only three, all right? Just three. And my last plant. All right, this is the Kokodama I got from Aria Botanicals in Portland. I did not have time to bring this thing back with me this last time uh, because I just, I had too many other plants I had to bring back. But they even gave it to me on this like free ceramic tray that would probably cost $10 by itself. It's like kind of the size of my, not the size of my head, it's like half the size of my head. But look at this. That is such a beautiful crimson queen, right? Is it a queen? <laughs> Doesn't say, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the one with the variegation on the inside and it has pink. It's so, the lighting here is so bad, but there's pink on this leaf. I miss this plant so much, putting her way on my shelf. Okay, are you ready for the ultimate unboxing? And I'm putting it in this video because y'all hate unboxings and I don't care what you say, you hate them. They get the worst views on this whole channel. So I'm sneaking it into this video. This is a box from Reclamation PDX. I sent her three elbow stem cuttings and she sent me 50 Hoya cuttings. Like I'm not even kidding. This is just a box of rare Hoya and then one rare Anthurium and a rare Peperomia. <laughs> I was gonna have to wait so long for this, but here it is. Okay. So here is, oh, perfect, just on top. This is the Peperomia Polybotra. It looks very similar to Pilea peperomioides, except that it's better in my opinion. Oh, okay, so these are really rare Hoya. So you've probably never seen any of these before. Um, and if you have, then like, you're really lucky. Okay, so here is Hoya EPC 301. If you can see. It's got a very kind of skeletal structure it's almost a splash, but then it's got a little bit of fuzz to it on the leaf. It's very, very nice. Okay, this next one is a very special Hoya. This is the Ar Aristema Carolina. This is a fuzzy Hoya. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to see. It basically, it's velvet. You know, you have your velvet leaf aeroids. This whole thing is coated, it's softer than staghorn fuzz. Do you see the halo around it? That's that's the fuzz. It's literally, think, think like you're touching like a dog ear. You know how soft it is, kind of like right in this spot? That's what this whole thing feels like. Next we have, ooh, peduncle, okay. Next we have Hoya Multiflora. Wow. I mean, the foliage on this one isn't too impressive, but this is a nice peduncle. Look at that. I'm excited. She told me that on this one, it's, it's the flowers that are really special. My fiance is here. You guys have actually never seen Chris before. Say hi. Hello. I was talking to them, but yeah. Do you guys like my rat tail? Here, pull it this way. It's so gross. You guys see it in all my videos and I just try to spin it and tuck it into my hair, but. I see it throughout my entire life. I know, but you love me anyway. <laughs> there it is, there it is. I, I it hate it. If I curled it, it would be a Victorian hairstyle. Your house is cold. I know, I turned it off because it was hot earlier. This is the Hoya IML Hybrid. Also, sorry if you can hear my dad and my fiance talking in the background. It's a small apartment. Here's the IML hybrid. Oh, I wish.
wish there was a better light. But it is kind of speckled. All right, then we have the Hoya Weyetii. We do actually have this plant in Oregon, but this one is really nice. It's got its traditional, just darker kind of edges. So you can see that. Darker edges, and this one is a little splashed, which seems to be the, oh, actually this is just leaf damage, okay. Leaf damage on Hoya is vivid common. But look at how pretty she is. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay, so I can't remember if she told me if this was a Hoya or not. All the bag says is David Cumingiana or Cumingiana. This is beautiful. I mean, this is, it almost looks like a type of Deschidia, doesn't it? Look at that. That is just so beautiful. Amazing. Then we have the classic, well, at least classic brown here. They sell these all over. Hoya Obovada Splash. It's pretty big. I love how these feel like cardboard almost. See? Okay, so yeah, this one says Deschidia. So she's specifically marked as rare. This is Deschidia ovata. This is beautiful. Look at that. It's got like a silver veining. That's not just shadow, that is the actual. Here, I'm actually gonna take you off for a second so you can see. That is just so incredible, isn't it? Wow. Amazing. Hoya Memoria Gracilis. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But here, this one I'm also gonna have to, this almost looks like it shingles to something. Check this out. Wow. And then you can kind of see the splash on it. That is so pretty. Ooh, okay, so this is the Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant. She sent me a very generous cutting. Amazing. I cannot wait for all of these to root. Oh, this one is rare as well as what the bag says. So this is Hoya Potsii Cow Yai Rare. Ooh, check that out. This again really resembles the macrophyllum. Does have a couple spots on it. Again, I'm gonna change the camera view. Here it is. I don't know that it works on this one as well, but yeah, there she is. She's very rubbery feeling. It feels like the leaves of a rubber tree. And look at those roots. That is so beautiful. These are such generous cuttings, man. All right, then we have, of course, the Crimson Princess in all of her glory. That out, that leaf right there. Amazing. Gotta love a classic. Oh, this is so nice. All right. This is just a massive cutting. This is the Hoya Obscura Phillips. This plant will turn red to pink to orange in the sunlight. Look at this. I got like, oh, there's roots on here. This is actually like a plant. Amazing. I don't have to worry about rooting it. I can just put that right in the sunshine. Look at her. She was also going to be sending me a Hoya, I cannot remember the name of it, but again, it's one that's naturally orange and pink. It was beautiful. But we have to wait for that one to be ready. But again, that is so pretty. I cannot wait. Oh, and just like the, the leaf veins on these. Here, let me. Can you see? They're like a light, a really pretty light green. This was one of the ones that we originally talked about trading and then she went overboard and sent me like a thousand cuttings. We agreed it on this, the Obscura and another plant in here. And then she was like, I'm just gonna send you a bunch of stuff. And I was like, ooh, 
Hoya Carry Eye. There's a lot of, ooh, with a peduncle. She sent me a carry eye with a peduncle. Okay, here's the Hoya Carry Eye. Beautiful, and there's her peduncle. <laughs> like, really ugly looking, but these ones are actually so cute. I'm so excited. I haven't, I don't have a carry eye. I haven't had one ever actually because all the places around here charge like 40 bucks for like a two, two inch. And I'm like, no. We have a nice Hoya Carnosa splash. Again, gotta love the classics. Ooh, I think I'm in love. <sighs> oh yeah, this is the Hoya Sunrise. This guy, oh yeah. And this one has a root system too. This one actually already has hints of like pink on it. So um, this is one that I was really, really excited about. And I actually got this one confused with the other one that she is going to be sending me once it's ready. But here is the sunrise. And I'm gonna flip the camera around on this one because this is so special. Uh, to give you a really good view of this one. Okay, so here's the sunrise, and you can kind of see that the pink and purple tinges on it. Um, when I put this in the window, it will actually get really, really pink. Or red, I guess, is the technical color that it is supposed to get. But I mean, look, you can already see it starting. I'm so freaking excited, oh my god. Okay, we have two plants left. Oh, okay. So here, let me explain. Originally, our trade was she was going to send me variegated watermelon peperomia cuttings or, or a plant. She was gonna send me two. It was gonna be one variegated plant per elbow node because I've only seen the variegated peperomias sold on eBay and they're only sold once in a blue moon and they're sold for really, really expensive. So I was like, oh my gosh, let's trade because originally I was gonna pick like she was gonna buy them from me and I was like nope I want the cuttings unfortunately what happened was this um which we already knew had happened I knew that this had happened before she sent it to me but because this is the plant that it occurred in there's a possibility it could happen again so I guess what she decided to do was send me the plant and hope we can hope that it'll happen again I'll kind of be very delicate and show you you can still see that it's variegated. This last one is probably the most exciting one in the box next to the Hoya Sunrise and the uh, Deshidia Ovata. Are you ready to see this plant? This plant is the Anthurium Bakerii, which if you don't know what it is, it is a very long, very strappy plant. and. The one, I actually bought a plant close to this. Uh, this is not the Vitara folium, by the way. In my eyes, the best one to get for the long strappy belt-like leaf uh, that you may have seen in some of Kaylee Ellen's videos is the Vitara folium. It gets like 12 feet. They look like real leather belts. Amazing specimens. I think the next best one is the Anthuria bakerii, which is the one I have here. <laughs> and that one gets like, 10 feet to 9 feet. It's a little bit different with how it looks and the flowers are different and the way that it, the petioles connect to the, the stump and the roots are different, but it, it's very similar. The next best one after that is the Anthurium pendulifolium, which I have literally right there. It's that plant right there. That one's cool. It's the only one I've been able to get my hands on that's in like the belt foliage family. And that's not a real family don't search that on google you won't find it but uh, yeah so here is the bake area and this is a baby and these sell on ebay for literally so much money so i hope i can keep it alive because this is very precious here she is she's got a couple sad leaves so i'm gonna probably cut those off but um here it is 
she is so beautiful and these little leaves they get they're really massive so i just hope i hope i can do it justice because i i've bet on these before on ebay and i mean this girl she she owns a spirit of sanctity right what's an anthurian bakery to her but i'm just saying i really have been wanting this plant when she offered it to me i was like Well, that is my my house plant haul. I know that it's long. Well, maybe it was short, I don't know. Here, let me show you my favorites. I'm gonna pick up my favorites. So of course, the Sunrise and the Obscura. These are probably my two favorite Hawaii's next to the one that she's still prepping to send to me. And then for sure, I think, oh, this one, the fuzzy one, the Hoya Erstema Car Caramina, this one. Oh, you can see his little glow. It's because he's so fuzzy. So I guess this will be your first step into my plant room because I haven't done a tour yet. But here are the cuttings for Etsy. And my ring of fire here's the new leaf look at that so pretty all the new plants down here and again i've had these plants for a really long time but um they just are now getting to come and live with me here's the new leaves doing their raven thing my adora oh i should probably trim that The, this beautiful, this is the newest leaf. That's so gorgeous. And this one right here, look at that one. Wow. And over here, all of the Hoya. Here, let me put these ones down too. Oh, here's the, let me show you the fuzzy one up close. Here, you can see he is very fuzzy. And it's everywhere too. Wow. Oh my god, is that a pinnacle or is that a leaf? That's a leaf. Okay, that's alright. Amazing. And this might be one of my favorite plants now. And the rest of the the rest of the cuttings. So beautiful. And then the sunrise again just for fun because we love her. Wow, what a beast. I mean, these leaves in particular right here are just so beautiful. We have the EPC 301 up close. Multi Florida, beautiful dark green leaves in the carry eye. We have the Carnosa up close, the Potsy eye. This is the other really rare one. We have the Black Pagoda Lipstick Plant up close. The really beautiful Memoria Gracius up close. Then we have the beautiful rare Deshidia Ovada. Beautiful. We have the hybrid JML. And our fuzzy guy again, just for fun. Look at that halo around his leaves. Sorry, I'm obsessed. The David Kamingiana Hoya. And Hoyetii Carnosa. Amazing. Oh, and we can't forget the Kokodama. Here's the friends again. One last time. Thank you so much for watching the biggest plant haul and the rarest plant haul I'll probably ever have on my channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, tweet me at David Dobrik. If you made it this far, please comment which Hoya was your favorite. 
or which plant species in general was your favorite. If you have any questions about any of the species, please just leave a comment. I will respond. If you reach out to me on Instagram, I'm like on Instagram all the time. So just reach out. I'll be there. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.